Rakesh here and I'm from IT University, uh, a free open online university for uh, professionals and for uh, students. I hope you have followed our uh, previous videos in which we have explained a lot on various technologies, but uh, mainly these days we are focusing on big data stack and um, and uh, and technologies like AWS and other related to it. So there are many playlists which you can watch here and uh, give your comments and your reviews and we'll probably get back to you. I'm starting a new playlist in which what I'll do is I'll set up a cluster on uh, EC2 uh, and that would, that would be a Spark cluster. You can ask me a question that what is the difference but what what difference would it be uh, to an ordinary Hadoop cluster and a Spark cluster? The difference it would be is that Spark can be deployed without Hadoop. So you can have a cluster on which you can run a Spark, uh, like uh, you can have a master and you can have slaves and you can run uh, a cluster without a need of Hadoop. You don't need any Hadoop. So there are various ways in which you can uh, uh, you can make a cluster and you can deploy your applications onto it. But it, it actually requires or it actually uh, uh, requires an understanding uh, about what are the operations you want to perform. Suppose you just want to perform uh, simple or probably I'll say uh, isolated applications on a, on a cluster, on a distributed cluster where you want to perform certain application which doesn't require uh, lots of APIs like Scoop or Hive or something like that. So you can do your work, you can, you can do your big data work on that. So for that, if you can go to this site, apache.spark.org, you can see that it runs everywhere. So it can run on Hadoop, it can run on Mesos or standalone. So when we say that standalone, what, is, what does it actually mean? It actually means that without Hadoop. So it can access data, we, we all know that. You can access data from HDFS, Cassandra, HP, and Hive and um, post type things. But it can, so there are three ways. You can run it on um, standalone. Uh, you can run the same on uh, on Mesos, you can run the same on Yarn and you can have a local. I hope that you had watched my previous videos where I had run a uh, local, uh, where I had run, ran uh, Spark on a local uh, environment. So now guys, what I'll do is I want to uh, deploy it on EC2, which is very simple. And uh, for that, what I need to do is I need not to do anything much, but what I need to do is I just need to download the latest latest version of Spark. Guys, in this playlist, what I'll do is I'll explain you. Uh, it will be administrative work which I'll be doing. I'll be I'll be creating a cluster, a three node cluster, one master, two slaves on EC2. And for that, if you do not have much understanding of uh, what EC2 or what actually uh, Amazon Web Services are, I request you to go through this particular playlist. Uh, you don't watch all the videos, but I'll request you to watch at least first six, like the week I had watched. This will not only help you to uh, make a um, better understanding of AWS, but will actually help you to move forward, to move forward as well. Guys, uh, so go to this page, Apache uh, Spark Downloads. We know the latest version is 1.5.2 and pre-build for Hadoop 2.6 and later. I need a direct download and click here. So what it will do is it will automatically start downloading the uh, new Apache uh, Spark. So guys, uh, I request you to watch uh, the next videos which will be uh, in the same playlist. But before that, Create your own cluster, create your own uh, account on AWS. I have created my account today morning and it was just a five minute uh, job for me to create an account. And uh, what you need to do is, uh, I think most of the things will be explained in the next videos and I request you to go through them. 
so guys uh, again i'll uh, i'll let you know, before moving forward uh, just remember that spark can run on hadoop spark can run on when i say hadoop it is a hadoop distributed system which runs on yarn uh, spark can run on standalone and mesos with ec2 uh, spark comes up with uh, a pre built uh, hdfs uh, for you so hdfs is a underlying file system on ec2 which will be created uh, when you will create a cluster so very easy steps which i'll be performing and hope you will enjoy it uh, well guys uh, i think it will take some time to download it and stay, stay tuned to my channel um, i hope you will like uh, my content give your feedbacks and there are many videos which we have uh, recently uploaded uh, there is a playlist on spark i request you go, to go through it it will be beneficial if you can go through it and that's it thank you guys kindly subscribe to our channel thank you bye